Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. If you're new, I always post on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Sunday. So come back and check out the other videos. I have a really cute fun fold coming on Tuesday, so make sure you come back and watch that. It's really a fun one. All right, so today... I am making these little boxes, and actually they're pretty good sizes. It is four and a half by three, and then it is two inches tall. So this is just a regular box that opens like that. It has a window sheet in it, so it is a window box. I love window boxes. I've done quite a few over the years that I have been on YouTube here, but I love it because I love to see what's inside, but aren't these pretty? Oh my gosh, when I saw these, this is the first thing I thought of. This one I did, you can't really see it too well in the video, but it is Santa pulling his sleigh, and I may have, I may change this and do this maybe basic white, I don't know. I went back and forth about it, and I really like it in black because I wanted it to kind of look like it's shadowed, but it's really cute. So the designer series paper I used for this one is a celebration free choice, and I love this paper. It is the Peaceful Prints, so I love this. And you can also cut out the deer with our deer punch um, that we have from the designer series paper. But look at this, both sides of these. I love them. I love them all. They're very kind of, to me, a little bit of country, but I love these, all of the patterns on this. And so this is a free choice when you spend $50. You can choose this as your free choice. And this is the brochure, the celebration brochure that you get to choose your free product out of, and it does end September 30th. So if you are waiting, don't wait so long because there's a lot of really cute free choices in here, and this paper happens to be one of them. All right, but for this one, I'm using one of my very favorites, the Whimsy and Wonder. By the way, this is going to be back in stock on the 13th, because it has been very popular, and I, I told you that when I first showed it, because it's gorgeous. It's got foil on one side and then the other side. I love both sides of it, but look how beautiful this paper is. And so today I'm using the little, I've already used the last of my <laughs> little ivy here. Not ivy. Is it ivy? Not ivy, but um, holly, berry, holly and berries, but I love this paper. Look how beautiful that is. And I do have another pack of this because I loved it so much I ordered two. <laughs> but I'm going to show you the star of the show, which are these little dies right here. And they're absolutely beautiful. That was the first thing I thought when I bought this bundle was to use it on that. And this is called the Time of Giving Bundle. It has the Giving Gifts dies. I used this in another video. Um, I think it was last Sunday's video. I can't remember, time flies so fast. But there's even little tiny ones, but this is the Santa that I used for that one. So it cuts out Santa and the reindeer. And then this one is the snowflakes. We are doing this one today. So this is the snowflake one right there. And then I use the sentiments, I use the season greetings on this one, and then I use the Christmas cheer throughout the year for that one. But I love this. It's really, really, and it's for every occasion. I mean, it's got Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. So it's really a great one. I'm also using my opal rounds for this one. So I'm using these, but I'm going to color them with my Stampin' Blends. And then I am using this gorgeous white organdy glittered ribbon. I love this. So pretty. That's what I made the little bow on. And this one I used the uh, Playful Pet, and I used both of the ribbons from that one. I love this ribbon too. <laughs> and this ribbon is in our annual catalog. So that is one I made for that one, and then this one. All right, so this is what we're making today, so let's get started. So what you're going to need for this 
And y'all are going to see a little trick that I'm going to teach you that I learned from Stampin' Up. So you're going to need a piece that is 8.5 by 7. This is the box bottom. And then a piece that's 5, and five by 6.5. And, and that's for the top. We are going to need a piece of window sheet that is 2 and 3 quarters by 4 and a quarter. And then we're going to mat it. And we're going to mat these with two pieces that are 4 and a quarter by 1 and 7 eighths. And two pieces that are 2 and 3 quarters by 1 and 7 eighths. You also need another piece, and this is for that top piece that we're going to put over. We're going to make, we're going to cut this actually twice. And this is two and a quarter by three and three quarters. And then I'm using Blushing Bride because I wanted to add a bit of that Blushing Bride to the top. And that's one half by three, and this is for our sentiment. I think that is everything, so let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to cut. So, this is the little trick that I'm sharing because I know how many of you hate the sixteenth of an inch. So this is what you're going to do to the bottom piece, not the top. The top you're going to leave alone. The bottom piece, you are going to cut about a sixteenth inch. On the trimmer, I just put it just past the cutting mark. And as soon as I cut it, I'll show you how big it is. So it is approximately one sixteenth of an inch. Can you see that? It may be just a hair more. Now when you do this, you want to cut it from the same share corner here. So you're just going to turn it and you're going to cut this side and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to cut that little tiny piece off right there. Just like that. Alright, so that's it. Now we're going to score it. And on this one, you are going to score it at two inches on all four sides. This makes it so easy when you just cut that little piece off. And I always get people saying they hate 16th inch, so this is what I found it was a better way to do it. And then the top one, you're just going to do it at one inch on all four sides. So it makes it really easy, just cutting off that little tiny piece. All right, we are going to take our little die here. I'm going to bring up the cut and emboss. And we are going to cut in our top, we are going to cut the little snowflakes. So you want it centered. So you can measure it out, but I just eyeball it and put it in the center. And then we are going to run this through. And there are a lot of little pieces, so just get those pieces out there. I'm going to use my paper piercer to get these little ones. You can run it through a couple times and it'll come out really easy. Alright, so there's the top of our box, so it's right in the center. And then I'm going to clean this, and then we are going to cut our little piece of basic white, and we're going to use the same die. And we are going to center it again on here. Again, make sure you eyeball it pretty well. And then we're going to oops, run this one through. This time I'll go back and forth. And then you'll see it's easier to come out this way. The little pieces, they usually fall right out. See that? There's still a few little tiny pieces here. All right, so there's our top piece. This is going to go over the top. I wanted the snowflakes white, so that's why I did this. All right, we are going to move this out of the way. I'll worry about cleaning that later. And now we are going to put our box together here. So we are going to cut these. I'm going to rotate it on this one. Alright, 
and then we're going to do the same on this one only this time I'm not going to rotate on because this piece is really big so I'm just going to come from here and then a little bit from this side this just helps to hide it underneath your top part here I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute this just makes especially on a big piece like this Sometimes I just can't explain it until I show it to you. All right, so now let's get this out of the way. And we're gonna sharpen all these because you know when you make a box, you want these nice and sharp. Alright, so all both our pieces are nice and sharp. I'm going to get my wet glue. You can use tear and tape, your wet glue, whatever you like. And we are going to put the top together here. Do have to hold these when you use wet glue. Make sure your corners are nice and even and square because it does make a difference on how it's going to fit the bottom of your box. All right, let's do the same with this. So what I was talking about is when you pull this up, if this, you have a little overlap if this was not cut back. I like it nice and clean there. Sometimes I do that and then I have to cut trim any excess off. This way you don't have to trim excess off. So now this should fit on here really nice just like that and we are going to put the window sheet in. So because we cut off this little piece on both ends, see how little it is? It's going to fit really nicely on your box. So I'm going to put my window sheet in and I like to do it after I go ahead and put all the box edges together because it fits right nicely in there and to me it's just easier and then there's our little window I know there's a reflection but window sheet is so nice because it's so nice and clear and everything and now we're going to take our other piece here and we are going to put that on top you can even put some because this is flat. It seems like it's easier to put it on here. Some little dots all around. And then I'll put it on the back here. And we are going to put this down right on top. Line it up really nice. And I got a little piece right here that I didn't pop out. And there you go. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, I love this. I love making window boxes, so this, so I just love this one. All right, now I'm going to stamp the sentiment, and we are going to use the season's greetings for this one. These are all from the same stamp set. I'm going to flag the end here on this. Let's move this out of the way. We are going to put this on. I'm going to just use wet glue for this. And let's see, we go this way with that. I'm going to take my ribbon. This ribbon's so pretty. Make a little bow. And I just want it small, so my scissors here and cut them. 
up. And then I'm going to use a glue dot to hold this onto the box. And let's see if I can move that down just a hair. Oops, it's already taking grass. I guess I'm going to just put it right there. I don't want to mess up this box. You know I'm going to fool with that bow till I get it exactly how I like it. There we go. And now we are going to take our opal rounds. I'm going to use, I don't have Blushing Bride, so I'm using Flirty Flamingo. And we are going to color. I always color with this blunt end because it messes up the other end. Don't ask me how I know. I messed up a couple of my ends like that and had to get new ones. And then we are going to put these on here. It dries really quickly too. We're just putting three on because I like to use odd numbers of things, especially embellishments. So we're only putting three on here. And we need to mat it. I forgot to mat it. <laughs> All right, now let's mat these. I'm going to use some stamp and seal for the matting these. It'll be quicker. Isn't that paper just beautiful? Love this paper. I have an idea what to use these for, so I am going to be making a few more. I'm going to make sure that's straight. And look how pretty that is. And then just stick your top on. And it should fit really nicely on there. Don't cut too much off or it'll be really loose. You don't want it loose. It fits really nice if you just cut that tiny little piece off. And remember to cut it off of two little two corners, one or sharing one corner, like I showed. So there you have it. That's it. Here's the other one. Aren't they cute? Oh my gosh, I love these windows. Here's the other one. I still love this one. It's more, this one's more, um, leans more t toward the child-like type, but it's really kind of elegant at the same time. So it's really pretty. I like the, I like the basic black, and I know you can't see it too well in here, but it's really pretty. So I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. If you need any supplies, you can shop my blog at stampingwiththemore.com. And here is the new hostess code. I'd appreciate if you use the hostess code. And have a blessed day. I'll catch you in the next one, everyone. See you later. Bye.